dramatic escape. From a home now unrecognizable. Others barely made it out alive. Block after block destroyed on Sanibel Island and along Florida's Gulf coastline. Some are now returning to their homes for the first time to see the damage. Windows are broken, walls are destroyed, the roof, every room is on the floor. We're all hurting. We're all as a community here helping each other as we can. Hurricane Ian was downgraded to a tropical storm as it made its way up the Atlantic coastline. But when it made landfall in South Carolina for a second time on U.S. soil, Ian had regained hurricane strength. These winds have already downed numerous trees and power lines across parts of the state. And finally, there's an increasing threat of isolated tornadoes, mainly in the far northeast part of the state where a tornado watch has now been issued. Flash floods have been reported in parts of the state, with Ian now moving inland. While in Florida, a long rebuilding effort has only just begun. This community close to Fort Myers Beach used to be an idyllic place to live, but it came at a cost, and that was vulnerability to storms like Hurricane Ian. Be careful, buddy. His friends and neighbors pulled together to start again. Come over, honey. We got food and stuff, too. You do? I got nothing. Come on. Barbara Miller, ABC News, Fort Myers. Oh, don't get a flat.